Rain. Symbol of prosperity, this phenomenon is so awaited by men from the dawn of agriculture. But a lot of people don't know that it doesn't rain, just on earth. How? This is the topic of my video. To tackle this issue, we need to explain the mechanisms of our planet's rain with a simulation first. Water is evaporated from the oceans and rivers and is transformed into gas or vapor. When it reaches the troposphere, it condenses around microscopic particles to form water droplets. They start colliding with each other to form raindrops big enough to be pulled to the surface by gravity and the cycle repeats itself. Thanks to scientific discoveries of the last two decades, it was confirmed that different types of rain exist in some planets of the solar system. We'll begin the journey of this discovery from our neighbor, Venus. This terrestrial planet is the hottest planet in the solar system. Due to its proximity to the Sun and its high concentration of CO2 in its atmosphere, which also contains traces of water vapor and sulfur dioxide. Venus is also one of the most volcanically active planets in the solar system, releasing high amounts of sulfur dioxide to the atmosphere. Between 38 and 48 kilometers above Venus's surface, water vapor and sulfur dioxide react to form sulfuric acid. It's pulled down by gravity to create rain. But this liquid evaporates 30 kilometers above the surface due to the high temperatures, causing water vapor and sulfur dioxide to separate and return back to the atmosphere. Here is an approximation of the sound of rain in Venus after conversion from radio waves. Meanwhile, the mechanisms of rain in Neptune are totally different. In fact, Neptune's rain occurs 7,000 kilometers below its surface. This gas giant has a low temperature due to its distance from the sun. It's composed of an atmosphere comprised mostly of hydrogen and helium, an ice, ammonia, and methane layer 17,500 km thick, and a core. The gravity of the core compresses the ices 7,000 km below the surface. The internal heat and pressure rise, causing the ices to decompose into hydrogen and carbon atoms. The latter transforms into diamonds due to the high temperature and pressure. They are pulled to Neptune's core by the gravity. We should also know that it doesn't rain just on planets, but also on stars, notably on the Sun, even if it seems inconceivable. It rains extremely hot plasma on the Sun, in a process called coronal rain, where superheated plasma traces up from the outer layer of the Sun, along invisible magnetic fields. The plasma's temperature decreases as it travels away from the Sun. Because plasma is constituted of protons, electrons, and ions, it channels across the magnetic loops and descends back to the sun. Natural phenomena don't occur just on Earth, but also on other planets and stars. This fact points to the existence of common factors between some members of the universe. 